Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on Liz The One TV. I'm your girl, Liz The One. All this month, I will be giving you black history facts that are rarely talked about. In fact, I'm going to title this Little Known Black History Facts by Liz The One. And I'm your girl, Liz The One. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to help me hit 5,000 subscribers. Tap the bell to be notified of when I do upload. So let's get into it. You've heard of Rosa Parks refusing to give up her seat on a bus to white passengers. But before Rosa Parks nine months earlier, there was current 83-year-old retired nurse aide Claudette Colvin, born Claudette Austin, September 5th, 1939. Now, Colvin didn't get the same recognition as Rosa Parks because her skin was much darker and, of course, because of her hair texture. So, Let's get into the story. The story goes on March 2nd, 1955, while returning home from school in the colored section two seats away from the emergency exit on a Capitol Heights bus. The bus was crowded. All the white seats on the bus were full, so white people were standing. Now, the rule back then was that black people had to give up their seats for whites. The bus driver, Robert W. Shear, demanded Claudette and three other black women move to the back. Now, Ruth Hamilton, who was one of the four black women, said she wasn't getting up and that she had paid her fare and she didn't feel like standing. So Claudette told the bus driver she wasn't getting up either. The bus driver threatened them with the police. They were arrested by officers Thomas J. Ward and Paul Headley at the time. Now, fast forward she was one of four plaintiffs in the first federal civil rights case filed by attorney Fred Gray on February 1st, 1956. Fast forward a little further, June 13th, 1956, judges determined state and local laws requiring segregation in Alabama were unconstitutional. Fast forward a little further even then, by then Rosa Parks had sat down and the issue had blown up. November 13, 1956, the United States Supreme Court upheld this ruling, meaning it ended segregation. So thanks to Claudette Colvin, Ruth Hamilton, and the two other women who sat down before Rosa Parks, we get to sit anywhere we want to on the bus. And this is Little Known Black History Facts by your girl, Liz the One. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and sign up for my, my mailing list so that way... You'll be notified when I do post also. Thanks for clicking on Liz the One TV. Peace out.